Out of our other big story tonight, mailbox mayhem. A neighborhood in Conroe was on alert tonight after 100 homes were targeted by mailbox thieves. One victim sent us this surveillance video of the crooks in action using a crowbar to get inside her mailbox. Channel 2's Jennifer Bauer spoke to the homeowner who recorded that video and tells us, Jen, it's now being used to help find the bad guys. That's right. You know, these thieves are looking specifically for Christmas cards. What they're doing is they're breaking into the mailbox, then they're opening the cards up, hoping to find either a gift card, cash, or a check. Then they're getting rid of the cards and stealing the goods. Surveillance cameras were rolling when a car pulled up to this Conroe area home at 4 o'clock in the morning. Watch what happens next. With a crowbar, the passenger starts to pry the mailbox open. It takes him several tries, but finally he gets it. It's clear he's looking for mail to steal. At the top of the screen, you can see the car stops at another house around the corner. The post office tells us in two days, these guys managed to hit almost 100 mailboxes in just one neighborhood. More than likely, probably visa cards and, and checks uh, and Christmas cards from relatives. It was Greg Mize's surveillance cameras that captured the crooks. He and his neighbors are now hoping someone will recognize this guy or the car. That's a big offense, you know, and especially going through that many mailboxes. When I got up, my mailbox door was just hanging. Brenda Westcott's mailbox got hit too. She discovered mail and packages thrown all over the neighborhood. I found a couple of boxes, but they were already ripped open and just the boxes on the ground. The postal inspector is working with Conroe police to investigate. Their advice, don't leave mail in your mailbox overnight. Even if your mailbox locks, like these two, as you can see, thieves will still find a way in. Now, if you were a victim, the post office does want to hear from you because they are collecting evidence and building a case against these guys in case they're caught. We're live in Montgomery County. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC, Channel 2 News.